Welcome to the Poet Studio, the annual pristine private school poetry performance competition. Poetry helps to create timeless melodies and rhythms. Reading, memorizing, and recitation of poetry can help students gain confidence by delving deeper into language. It is an expression of an individual's thoughts and feelings. Through this poetry performance competition, students explored the deeper meaning of poems. They made personal and real-life connections as they selected the poem that best resonates with their own experiences and feelings. Today, we will experience poetry come to life through the dramatic performances. The selection of the finalists was a difficult process as each entry was a unique representation of the students' talents of comprehension, expression, voice modulation, facial expression, and body movements. Please welcome the finalists from Year 5. Before we begin the presentation, I'd like to request you to please use the link here to judge the performance based on the criteria provided. Our next performer is from Mr. Fighty, Phoenix Carrick. Wonderful performance. Our next finalist is Muhammad Abdi from Year 5.
said A to B. I don't like C. His manners are a lack. For all I ever see of C is a semi-circular back. I disagree, said D to B. I've never found C so. From where I stand, he seems to be an uncompleted O. C was vexed. I'm much perplexed. You criticize my shape. I'm made like that to help spell cat and cow and cool and cape. He's right, said E. Said F, whoopee. Said G, ip, ip, hooray. You're jumping me, roared X to G. Don't do it, please, I pray. Out of my way, L said to K. I'll make poor I look ill. To stop this stunt, J stood in front. And presto, ill was Jill. You know, said V, that W is twice the age of me. For as a Roman B is five, I'm half as young as he. X and Y, yawn sleepily. Look at the time, they said. They all jumped into bed device, and the last one in was Z. Thank you for such a great presentation. Our next performer is from Year 5A, Yamina Obai. Hello everyone, my name is Yamina and I'm from Year 5A. Today I'm going to be presenting the poem, The Blind Man and the Elephant, by John Godfrey Sachs. It was six men of Hindustan, two learning much in clan, who went to see the elephant. Though all of them were blind, that each by observation might satisfy his mind. The first approached the elephant and happening to fall against his broad and sturdy side, at once began to fall. God bless me, but the elephant is very like a wall. The second, feeling of the tusk, cried, Oh, what have we here? So very round and smooth and sharp. To me, it is mighty clear. This wonder of infinity is very like a spear. The third approached the animal and happening to take the squirming trunk within his hands thus boldly up and speak. Oh, I see, quoth he, the elephant is very like a snake. The fourth reached out his eager hand and felt about the knee. What knows this wondrous beast is like a mighty flame, quoth he. Tis clear enough, the elephant is very like a tree. The fifth, who chanced to catch the ear, said, And the blindest man can tell what this resembles most. Deny the fact you can. This marvel of an elephant is very like a fan. The sixth, the sooner had begun about the beast to croak, then seizing on the swinging tail that fell within his coat. I see, quoth he, the elephant is very like a rope. And so, these men of Hindustan disputed loud and long, each with his own opinion, disputing stiff and strong, though each was partly in the right and were all in the wrong. Thank you. Thank you for this wonderful performance. Our next panelist is from Year 5, to Bringing the Lord. Ibrahim Bilal 
from 5E. Today I will be enacting the poem called The Sound Collector by Roger Dot Mick. A stranger called this morning, dressed in black and gray. He put all the sounds into a bag and carried them away. The whistling of the kettle, the turning of the flock, the, the purring of the cat, the ticking on the clock. The popping of the toaster, the crunching of the shakes, the spreading of the marmalade, the scrapping sound it makes. Hissing of the frying pan, the ticking of the grill, the bubbling of the bathtub as soon as it starts to fill. The crying of the baby, the squeaking of the chair, the swishing of the curtain, the creaking of the stairs. A stranger called this morning, he didn't leave his name. He, he left us in silence. Life will never be the same. That was a big Our next finalist is Samantha Lewis from Year 5A. Workings of the Wind by James Berry. Wind doesn't always topple trees and shake houses to pieces. Wind plays all over woods with wavy ghosts and swings in thousands, swinging from every branch. Wind doesn't always rattle windows and push, push at walls. Wind whistles down culty sacks and worries. Dry leaves and old newspapers to leap and curl like pipe tails. Wind doesn't always dry out to these shirts and blouses. Wind scatters pollen in the soap flowers, washes people's animals' faces, and combs out birds' feathers. Wind doesn't always whip up waves into white horses. <laughs> Wind shakes up tree shadows to dance on rivers, to jig on grass, and hanging lantern light to play signal man. Wind doesn't always run wild, kicking tinny dustbin lids. Wind makes leafy limbs bow to red roses and bob up and down outside windows and makes dust papers fly up indoors. Thank you. You have been fantastic. Our next finalist is from year 5 me, Muhammad Abdullah. with my guana by Brian Moses. I'm walking with my guana. I'm walking with my guana. When the temperature rises above 85, my guana is looking like he's come alive. So we make it to the beach, my guana and me. Then he sits on my shoulder as we stroll by the sea. And I'm walking with my guana I'm walking with my guana. Well, if anyone sees us, we're a big surprise. Right. My guana and me on our daily exercise. Till somebody phoned the local police. Say I've got an alligator tied to a leash. When I'm walking with my guana, I'm walking with my guana. It's the spines on his back that make him look grim. But... He just loves to be tickled under his chin. And I know that my guan is ready for bed, but he puts on his pajamas 
and lay down a sleepy head. I am walking with my guana, still walking with my guana, with my guana, with my prehana, with my chintuha, and with my chinchilla, with my gorilla, my caterpillar, and I'm walking with my guana, with my guana, with my iguana. Thank you. Thank you for this wonderful presentation. Our last finalist is Alina Nolari from Year 5. Words by Adisha. Words are foods that cannot be eaten, but still they feed my mind. I wallow in the words of wisdom, surprised by what I find. Words together make a sentence. A sentence makes a paragraph. Some words make me angry. Some make me laugh. <laughs> words are used to hypnotize, put some folks in a trance. Words entwined with rhythm and music makes me want to dance. Words exchanged between two people, if misunderstood, could make them fight. Words used like a key in a lock could expose you to the light. Words speak of different cultures, their success and their plight. Some people say, I want to be rich. Without money, life's a bore. But, let me say, the more you know of life, the more you feel secure. Words can help you understand the future and what's gone on before. See the book as a stairway leading you to a door. Once inside, keep searching till you reach the core. And if you get lost, I'll find your message washed up on the shore. Inside us all, a story ways to take flight. What's I really trying to say? Every one of us can write. Write of wars, hatred, and peace that's yet to come. Right of people understanding the tongue must replace the gun. Right of your great history and where you're coming from. Right of nature to which we all belong. Right of living for today, for tomorrow you could be gone. But if you leave words in a book, your legacy could carry on. And maybe your words will inspire the next generation to learn from you and to go deeper and go beyond. So get a pen and some paper. Sit right down and make a start. No need to worry about the format, just as long as it comes from the heart. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful performance. That concludes our poetry performance competition. Thank you judges for your time and teaching.